Welcome back, everyone. Our next guest has been hailed as one of the top mentalists on the planet by the New York Times and has been one of the most sought after consultants for world class magicians like Chris Angel and David Blaine. His mind blowing performances have impressed stars like Nelly Furtado and Russell Crowe. And he is here today to blow our minds too. Please welcome the mystifying Bobby Mata. Okay, so Bobby, we all have these ideas as to what a mentalist is, but you're the expert, you're one. Tell us the real deal, what is a mentalist? What is a mentalist? Good question, because a lot of people don't know what mentalism yeah. is. So you have magic, which is like the umbrella, and underneath that umbrella you have illusionists, you have escape artists, and you have this little corner of, of uh, people that are called mentalists. Mentalists are uh, the ones that create the illusion of mind reading, so we do things with your mind. So the same, same feeling that you would get when you see magic, that's the same feeling that would happen, but it's all about your mind, right? Okay. Yeah. So did you have an interest in this world from a young age, like we hear about a lot of other sort of traditional magicians? Yeah, mag magic was my thing starting at an early age. My uncle showed me a trick when I was around five or six, and it kind of exploded from there. And, and uh, later on in life, I became really into like the, the principles of magic, the theory and how it all worked out, and that's where my obsession grew. Um, but I think I became very good at the dialogue portion of it, because it was just my interpersonal skills with people were, were, were better, as opposed to making something vanish and saying, well, look, look what I can do, right? I was, I was more, um, more interested in connecting with people, so kind of went to the next level. Okay. Okay, Bobby, I'm going to admit, I have my doubts when it comes to like mind reading or mind control. I'm maybe a bit of a skeptic, and I know other people are as well. So what do you say to those people who are a little bit like wary of what you do? Just let it go, let it go. drop it, right? <laughs> okay. So I do my, I have a weekly theater show that I do, and when people are skeptical, I, I just, you know, let them know that I'm, just to be comfortable. I'm your friend, it's not gonna be bad. You're not gonna like, get inside my head? N uh, well. <laughs> 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 right, and just, and just to kind of ex enjoy the experience. It's an experience. Okay. It's an experience, All right? right? Okay, well, you've brought your experience to our show, so let's begin. Oh, we're doing You're going to tickle our brains a little. We're, we're going to start with an illusion that you call a few books. Well, it's, yeah, we can use a few books. Okay. So I, have, I, brought, I brought a few books, and, and these are random books. As a matter of fact, one of them is your book. My book. Uh, this is your book. That is my book. Yeah. So why don't I, uh, you, can, you can have your book, because you know your book well. I, and, I um, hope so. <laughs> Cynthia, I'm going to give you this book. It's a Sherlock Holmes book. And all these books are just completely normal. And, and this is a case of intuition. Jack Harlan. This actually is my wife's book, but uh, you ready? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Do you want me to take it? Why don't we just do this? You'll from, okay. from over here, I'm just going to riffle through. And all the words are different. You can see yes. Yeah. So I want you to honestly say stop whenever you want. So say stop whenever you like. Stop. Look at the first word right yep. there. Yeah. You yep. got it? Yeah. And uh, I'll pass this over to you. Oh, OK. I get the book now. Now you get the book. OK. What do you want me to do with the because book? Because I was handling the book, I want you to open the book to any page you like, and I'm going to turn away so I can't see. And, okay. And pick a word that, uh, maybe a big word. If you don't like that word, change it. But make sure it's a nice, long, challenging word. You got it? Got it. You want to change your word? Or is nope, that, it's good. It's a big one, right? Yeah. Make sure it's really big. So it's big stop. enough. Close it. <laughs> Already intimidated. It's a room full of women here. <laughs> okay. And, and, and I, I almost forgot. Cynthia, yeah. open up to any page you like. It's somewhere in the middle of the book, yes? Okay. Look down. What's, uh, look to the right page. What's the page number? Uh, yep, got it. What is it? 135. I'll take the book back. Okay. Go to page 135 in your book and oh. look at the first word on page 135, but don't let me know. Okay. So now we're going to start. You got it? Yes. That's your book, you should know that. Page 135, and you can close it up. And so far, everything's been random. I riffled through a page, you saw a word, uh, you picked a, a, a number that's in your book, and you have a word out of just by looking, right? Yes. Thousands of different words. Think of your word, think of your word. Make a mental association with whatever it is, um, and, and you have your word locked in your mind. Your word is something to do with a, 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 a time or a position or something, the word that you're thinking of. Your word starts with the letter A. Your, st your starts with uh, letter C, no, M. S what is it, what's the first letter? J. J, that's what I thought, J. <laughs> and yours is S, S, because I saw, I felt an S coming out. Just, I'm gonna say it right now, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <sighs> arrive, correct. staircase, jackhammer. Okay, 
That's crazy. I just have to, <laughs> that's crazy. I just have to, page 135 is the first word is staircase. Staircase. Staircase clear, right clear. there. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're in uh, it now. We're in it now. <laughs> on, on to the next thing. Okay, so Bobby, we've all shared a lot on this show because it's called The Social, and that's what we do. Um, we haven't shared everything, though. So you are going to do something now involving our secrets. Ooh. Right? I wasn't aware of this, but we can try. Okay, Let, so... Let's try to do this. <sighs> all right. I want you all to think about something, a secret about your past that no one would ever know, that you have not spoken a word of, that's only in your minds right now that you can think of right now, okay? So think about something about your past, something about something that happened, perhaps that you wouldn't even share with anyone here. Maybe, maybe personal to you, okay? And you have something in your mind. I do. <laughs> and you have something in your mind. So you know, it's, it's just, um, for, for, for time purposes, maybe we'll just go with you guys, so let's see here. <laughs> If, whatever it is, like I said again, make a mental association. If it's like in a place, imagine you're walking into it. If it's a, um, something about food, you're eating it, and you can feel yourself. Uh, it's very personal. This is something that, that was about you when you were younger. Yeah. Yours is a bit different. And, and, by that, <laughs> and by that smirk on your face, you're being a little mischievous. This is, ah, OK, this is something that you're not actually comfortable sharing, but it's going to happen anyways. <laughs> But yours is more, more, more deeper. It's something to do with your, it's, pers it's a personality. It's a, uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable sharing it. I'm, can, do you mind if I just, if I'm, if I'm hitting the right thing, okay, can I whisper you in your ear? Yeah, whisper, whisper. She's wearing a microphone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay, right. in. okay, okay go ahead, Bobby. Yes. Is that what it was? Yes. Let's keep that between us. You, and this is all in your mind right now. You haven't shared this with anybody, right? Okay, so. Obviously, we're just we're doing it right now. This is about a, um, a moment in your life with another. Is, it involves another man. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is about a crush, I think. No? Could I be right? Am I on the right track? Yep. And the reason why it's a secret is because it was a crush on your boss, I believe, at one point. <laughs> is that what you were just thinking of? Yep. Okay, we'll leave it alone. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. That's okay, all right. Okay. We're only on uh, national television. Okay. <laughs> not my current boss. Not my current boss. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, moving, okay. On. moving on. <laughs> For the last effect, Bobby, you call this one uh, connect, and it sounds like you're going to need me and Cynthia. Oh, this, let's do this. Okay. okay so can, can I get both of you guys to stand sure. up in front over here? Okay. Um, and just maybe uh, one little step back like this. Face each other. Look at each other. Okay. Each other. Look at each other in, in, your, in your eyes. Get past that little awkward stage. Yes? You know each that other well. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Right? Totally. Okay. <laughs> All right, so deep breath. As you exhale, close your eyes, close your eyes. From this point forward, you're not gonna open your eyes, you're not gonna say a word, you're just gonna listen to my instructions. In a moment, I'm gonna take an object out of my pocket and I'm gonna brush one of you with it. I might brush you on your shoulder, I might brush you on your knee. Let's say I brush you on your elbow two times. In your mind, just say elbow two times, elbow two times. Just so you memorize what you felt, where you felt it, how many times you felt it, all right? So um, if you see any shadows, just ignore them. But in a moment, if you feel anything, just remember what you felt. If you felt me touch you somewhere on your arm, use your left finger and touch and hold where you felt it. What? Mimic, mimic the motion that you felt. How many times did you feel it? Twice. Once or twice? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Hands down by your side? Yeah. Okay. Question number two. If you felt me touch you somewhere in your face, use your right index finger, touch and hold where you felt it. Oh. Mimic the motion that you felt. How many times? Once or twice? Yeah. Once. Once. Once, perfect. Hands down by your side. Now, gentle strokes and mild brushes are one thing, jabs and pokes are something else. So, if you felt me poke you somewhere, try and reach and show me where you felt it. How many times? Once. Perfect. Hands down by your side. Let's try one more thing here. Uh, if you felt me draw a little X on your elbow, raise your left hand. You felt that? Okay, you can lower your hands down by your side. Deep breath as you exhale. You can open your eyes. Give these girls a big round of applause. Yeah. Hold on. Yep. Okay. 
Let's go sit back down. Yeah, Let's go sit back down. Okay. Okay. Uh, questions for you, just because you don't know what happened here. Um, you felt me brush you on your arm. You felt yeah. me brush you on your nose. Yeah. Poke you on the shoulder, yeah. right? And you felt me draw that little action. Did you feel me brush you on your 100%? Uh -huh. Yeah. You feel me poke you on, on the shoulder, yes. on your arm? You felt that as well, yes. too? 100%? Yes. Should we tell her? He didn't touch you. He didn't now. touch you once. He did not touch you once. <laughs> He did. He didn't touch you. He didn't come near you. It's only you. You caressed me, Bobby Mata. Um, <laughs> no, not once. And, and, and was that elbow, yes? I drew that little X. No, it was the other elbow, was it? No, it was oh. that elbow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You saw you that, right? I... It was an X. I... Oh, okay. well, maybe it was. Maybe it was the marker. To... No, it, it, it does works. Work? It's very okay. weird. Don't even, don't even make me pull up my elbows. <laughs> do not make me. Do it. Do it. Lift so up your arm. Oh my God! Well, um, I don't even know what to say right now. Well, what we will say is thank you so much, Bobby, for more, for more of Bobby's magic and where you can experience it yourself. Head to the social.ca after today's show, if you dare. We'll be right back. Up next, should your kids be